hands. What's up? As you can tell by the title, we got some packages. And this one is the manifold, and we're going to save that for last. My parents actually got me a, I don't even know what, for my birthday. So we're going to open that first, and then I got some clutch shenanigans. I actually got from a buddy of mine, Peter, in Canada. Shout out to him. I believe his Instagram is PBBlaze. Man, I'm going to have to edit that out. It has my address on Okay, we should be good. I have no idea what my parents got me. My birthday was Tuesday. You guys are seeing this Monday, so about a week ago. Turn 29. We went to go see Jason Aldean last week. She got me, uh, got us tickets for my birthday. I got pretty hammered, but it was a great time. Had a, had a real good. Oh, shoot! No way. <laughs> what? I hope it comes with a battery. That's dope. My parents got me a Dewalt speaker. Dewalt, 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 Dewoo. Look at that. That's dope. Uh, it's pretty decently. Look. The decent size. Yeah, Okay, well, I guess she told my dad to get me this. That's what's up. Hell yeah. I have like this little dinky, uh, like Google Home speaker out in the garage that I use. It's kind of annoying to use in the garage because of like the way the sound is out there really. You should just be able to, okay. This does plug, you can use a battery or plug it into what We actually had these in my support section at my old job, like aircraft maintenance. You could like check these out with a battery and uh, do, oh this actually hit, baby it's got Bluetooth. What? It has aux in. And it has a, a USB port so you can charge your shit. That is cool. That's a radio, what? I'm about to bring this shit to work. You're just gonna be all mad. I'm gonna be blaring my screaming music all the time. All right, I'm gonna pause this. We're gonna test this thing out. Hopefully I don't get demonetized. Right on! <laughs> Yo, this thing, and like it controls like all like from your phone. Uh, the volume so you don't have to go up to this and do it and it connects right away when you power it on that's awesome I wonder if it's got any bass to it I gotta send some pictures to my parents actually. I got a bogus thing back here. Yo. That's a really good song though. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just feel something. Really good. Well, hopefully, like I said, I don't get demonetized for that, but that's some, some good music right there. I listen to a little bit of everything. I can go from country to old hip hop to screaming to. Taylor Swift to Elvis, I go, I go everywhere. I listen to everything. Um, well, he really boxed this up good. I, believe it or not, I've had this box sitting for probably months. I've had no reason to really open it. I don't plan on taking my, uh, whatchamacallit, my trans off anytime soon to put in this new throwout bearing, but if my throwout bearing, I had it there for a minute, I thought my throwout bearing was bad. Um, it turns out just my diff is super loud. <laughs> like the car drives fine, it just makes some, some noises. But when you got a built trans and a diff and those kind of motor mounts and all that, you get a lot of noise. So this is, we got some ARP, I believe, flywheel hardware. Yeah, this is, I don't know if you guys will be able to, no, you guys don't be able to see that. ARP Pro. So I don't have to keep buying hardware if I ever have to take the flywheel off for some reason. Didn't really need them, but figured if he was selling it all together, might as well take it. And this is a, a Clutch Masters, um, really nice setup here. So you got it's a different kind of throw out bearing than OEM. So you got this. And this is Clutch Masters on it. It's really nice. One of these ways it should move. I thought no, You're not moving. Okay. Don't we? I feel dumb for some reason. Well, it looks nice. There's that. It's got shims for it. You got a nice hard line there, and then it should have a braided line. Yep. Um, that goes up to the. 
what's it called? The bleeder block. Um, I don't know how, oh yeah, so yeah, this right here, this part right here will go right to the bleeder block. This should go right to, that doesn't make sense. Oh, it's got its own bleeder block. That's neat. Yeah, got Clutch, I didn't even see that sitting there. That Clutch Masters, let's take it out of the bag. Clutch Masters bleeder block, so I can get rid of that ECS one. Um, wow, this is nice. I dig that. This is like, I like this better too, um, with the fittings on the side. So, I thought this was a little bit different. Bleeding this will be interesting. Okay, there we go. It does, ah, it does move. And this was, maybe I shouldn't touch things. <laughs> Either way, there we go. We got the lines, got the block, and the, the shims. I don't know exactly how to shim this or measure it. Uh, it'll be at some point in time, we'll get to that. If I, when I pull the trans off again, which I'd like to do this winter, to do some refreshing. Um, that new hardware. Figured it, might as well grab it since it was a deal. Save me some money and if mine does randomly go bad, I don't have to wait on a part. I got one sitting here at the house. So now we'll get to the grand finale. What you guys clicked on this video for? All right guys, so a little backstory on this. My boy, Michael, if you guys remember Michael, he had the Evo uh, back when, we was, when I was doing all those videos in Amarillo and stuff. Really good friend of mine. So when I was saying I was moving, he decided to get me a going away gift, which is really neat in itself. I never had anybody get me a going away gift, I don't think, or anything like that. Um, really, I don't, I don't even know what all, okay, good, you guys can't see it, uh, to say. Michael's just an awesome friend in general, and he didn't have to do this. He knows that. He's watching. What up, man? Uh, if you guys want to thank Michael, down in the comments below. So this, he ordered this, I guess, a while, a while, while back. A2B was doing a, uh, a group buy for these manifolds, and it had to have been like at least over three months ago, and it took a while. Everyone just got them within the last couple of weeks, and I moved away in like, what, May? Beginning, right? Anywhere for March, April? Like April-ish, and I guess he ordered it sometime in April. Either way, um, it's August. And he just got here, and it was just my birthday, so it's kind of like a going away birthday gift. He shipped it out, and he just got anyway. Um, here we are. Shout out to Michael again. Thank you, buddy. I love you. Shoo! All right, we're gonna see this thing together. I've seen pictures on it online when people got them. It doesn't come with hardware, but it does come with gas. It did come with a little bit of hardware, I guess. Oh, baby, check that out. All right. I might have to get, there's uh, some type of Audi throttle body bolts right up to this, apparently, and it's slightly bigger than what we have, and doesn't require any special coating or anything, allegedly. If I find that before I install this, I will definitely let you guys know. Um, oh, wow, okay, so there's ports for meth on the bottom. There's that, we'll have to close those up, and it's already there for MPI. You got your port injector spots. Wow. You got your spot for uh, your manifold tap there. You got a spot here for another tap there. It's really clean. Really, really clean. It doesn't come with much hardware. So I think there's just, yeah, so there's four screws to cover those uh, meth ports. And then you got, looks like two screws for the, no, I don't know. Oh, it might be for like the MPI. And then you got a nipple there for a boost reference, um, which means I'll, I'll be getting rid of my, whatchamacallit, Precision Raceworks one, three port. Wow, this is night man. Of course the gasket's in. Damn, this thing looks good, don't it? Check that out. I'm really surprised. And this is painted on there. I thought this was a sticker in the pictures, the A2B. That is, so he must have got them and powder coated them and got, got his logo like either etched on there. I can't tell if it's extra paint. I don't want to sit here and scratch at it or anything, but this is really nice. And this is going to look so good up against the yellow in the engine bay. Wow. Michael, thank you so much. Uh, guys over at ATB, this is really good. Even though this is not their manifold, 
Mind you, this is something they bought, threw their name on it. It's like a Chinese thing, but apparently they got really good welds, really good quality. I haven't seen a single, a single post yet to show a car that made whatever power, threw this on, and then, you know, obviously got their tune updated and then went back to the dyno to see if there's any gains. What I suspect and what most people suspect is that you're going to lose power down low and gain power up top because this doesn't have the flaps in it. You're going to have to like, you know, disable the, the intake manifold flaps. And what those flaps do, they help some type of, I'm no scientist here, something about velocity at low RPM. The flaps are closed that force air through faster to help things and stuff. I don't know exactly, but I know that helps with like lower RPM power having those slaps. So that's what I think will happen, but I don't know, we'll see. We had a decent sized turbo, fully built motor, ported head, and now we got this bad boy to throw on. This is like my intake manifold and my pipes from my intercooler to the intake manifold are like the only thing stock left really on the motor besides like some like OEM functioning sensors. Can't think of anything else really at all so yeah this is like cream of the crop right here once this is on and we get our yeah i want to get dived first and then we'll throw this on see what the power differences are i don't know when i'm going to be going to dyno i can't give any dates I, I just i just don't know but uh once we get on dyno this will get thrown on there's actually another guy who's making a hardware kit for this for all uh two four six eight ten to get it onto the head I'm assuming those two screws will work for the fuel rail, then you need hardware for the your sensor and then hardware for the throttle body. So I will link that guy once I install this manifold. I will link, he's putting little kits together specifically for this manifold. It's nice black hardware. You should go real freaking pretty with this. I need to take some pictures. Wow. Michael, thank you again. I cannot wait to throw this on the car. I'm gonna go set it on the motor here in a minute actually. Let me take some pictures. It's kind of like a crappy way of showing you guys. I can't show you guys a turbo or anything. But, oh, I was like, almost step on my, that's not really a good look. You can't really tell how well this is going to look. But imagine that rail on here. Get rid of that. This is going to look a lot better. I got a, a buyer for this five bar sensor set up. I'm going to go with the EQT five bar sensor. So. To really clean things up i just don't know there's like this little bracket connects to it this little bracket connects to it over here you got i'm gonna get rid of this vacuum nastiness so that'll save up some space here that'll be nice what else um yeah like all this stuff that connects to the manifold down here i'm gonna have to like tuck that back that'll be interesting what I've seen some guys do it. It looks clean. I think one guy just kind of like rerouted this hose in general. Just use like a regular hose. And we'd still need a T right there. And I could just like zip tie it to this over here maybe. And use like a straight. And I could T it. If, uh, there's, there's options. We'll figure it out. Make it look nice and clean. But there you go. I've got my nasty fingerprints all over it now. But it's going to look real nice up against this yellow. I can't wait. It is mad hot in this garage. All right, well, it's a Friday afternoon. I gotta work tomorrow. All I'm doing is work, 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 work. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, we'll be installing this manifold sooner than later. Getting on the dyno, getting the ripping. I just can't wait. Once again, shout out to Michael. Say thank you guys to Michael in the comments if you don't mind. Really appreciate it, man. Like, I'm just so hyped. <laughs> Cannot wait to get out there. Be doing things again, so. Stay tuned. Uh, I don't know what the next video is going to be, but it'll be something. So, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip flop.